There's a bed if you're stopping over. A tankard. If you're thirsty, and a fire to warm by in the golden place. Always open. Strangers strange come to Aiton. Few come by these roads nowadays. A hard gaze falls on Aiton. Many are the burdens and few are the reliefs. Someone must go to Aiton Circle. Someone must call the Erethel. A circle of the windstones nearby. When the voices from its stones sing a certain melody, the Erethel will come and end our tribulations. Each stone is a voice in the song. When all have sung in their part, the Erethel will appear. But if not, dark things for these dark times will show instead. The stones. I am unworthy. I do not think they will sing to me. You must go. It must be you. Make the stones sing their song. You will? Aiton Circle is to the south of town. Each stone carries a note of the song. In the right order, they form the song as it was to be sung. But they will not suffer a cacophony. If the songs you play will not call the Erethel, it will call darker things for these dark times. Everyone knows the song. It starts on the highest note and descends down the scale. Wait a moment. Perhaps it was start at the lowest note and descend up. Well, something like that anyway. Flutter away. What is it now? I've told you before and I'll tell you again. We will leave when there is someplace else for us to go. Tell your friends in Emer that as long as the Tuatha burn our homes, we'll keep searching for a place to settle. I saw them with my own eyes, and I know Tuatha killed my fair share in the war. I am Elrod Edmund, leader of this pathetic band of ragmen. We come from the farms of the Tuili coast. Go there now, and you will find only ruin. The Tawatha raiding parties terrorized us where we were safest. At home. There are spies among us, my friend. And they must be rooted out. Will you help me? Fine. 
then we shall be discreet. There are three whom I suspect of scouting for the Tuatha. They are paid in gold. There is no record of their actions. Onred Amfast is posing as a military recruiter, while Froma and Nag are both residents of our camps in the plain. Be careful. Consider all of them well connected. Be swift. Be merciless. Onred lurks in the shade of the Forsaken Plain, mostly. Try a mare, or the West Phalans. Froma and Nag are likely in one of the refugee camps to the east. Good luck. You're staring. Welcome. Just give yeah. me a straight answer. Is the general still in the cradle of summer? Thank you for coming all this way. I don't know if you heard that, but it sounds as if General Talera is still here, in exile. You're as quick as ever. Talera is in the cradle of summer, banished from the battlefields of Mel Senshir until she can atone for her past. According to the Fate Weaver here, she seeks an artifact from Ural Tusk, that might break the siege and aid our forces. But she cannot do so alone, for poor Talera is fated never to succeed. That is where you can help. Last I heard, General Talera was somewhere in northern Erethel, searching for a way to turn the tide of the war. I think she took a squad to Earl Tusk. You should be just what the general's looking for. Isn't it a glorious day, as if Helios himself warms us with a smile? To what do I owe this courtesy? I only have a few moments to spare. The god storm awaits my return, and it doesn't like to wait. Why, the god storm is the greatest event that our fragile world has ever witnessed. It was a battle, a conflict between Fae. They call it the Withering War. That's why I relocated to Emer to complete my book, the definitive work on the subject. The village is nice enough, quiet, although the new arrivals give me no peace. Sadly, I lack the last few resources needed to tell the full story. The works of the famous scribes Ewald, Dalston, Callas, and Wildfrold. Gone. I was so close. They are lost to the ages, I'm afraid. Minds such as Awald and Callus are rare. I suspect that their works have been spread across the plains. Athene's wisdom be yours. I am on official business. Unless you've been sent by the Alpha army, we have no reason to speak. Ask anyone and you'll get the same answer. They're animals. They care nothing for the mortal races. We're just dust to them. Enough! Keep your voice down! You're right, you're right. I'm a scoundrel and a coward. But you would have done the same thing. Give me a chance to make it right. You have my word, as a father. My informing days are over. Good riddance. Help me, please. 
I've been robbed. The rogue stabbed me, made off with my belongings. Blast! I can't believe I lost the amulet! Damn, Freeman. We refugees are an easy target. There's little we can do to defend ourselves. He came from the cliffs. A bandit, I think. Stabbed me in the back, then made off with my satchel in his hand and a wicked smile on his face. My mother's prized amulet is gone. A kind woman's last gift to her devoted son. I am in no condition to give chase. Will you help me? So I am. What of it? My treacherous partner stuck me when my back was turned. First he nicked me, then he nicked my bag. Not like it matters. If you bring that amulet, I'll pay you for it. It's that simple. Mine or not, I intend to have that prize. So, old Imundus knows what happened. Well, I don't have the amulet. Gelt does. He took it from me. In exchange, he left his dagger in my shoulder. He went north. <laughs> From the naked dirt sprang the Majestics, the firstborn of the wilds of Ashara. Around them, they heard the song of splendor of a once and future summer. And they responded. And the earth moved. The carver shaped, the architect built, and the shaper composed. Lovely weather. Have you spotted any sativa fiber? It's okay if you haven't. I'll keep looking. Lovely weather. Leela Janik, didn't you know? I thought that's why you were speaking to me. I collect plants to sell, to mix, to eat. Some of them I haven't figured out what to do with yet. What I'd love is some sativa fiber, fresh and unpicked. There's a patch of it. But the spiders won't let me near. Oh, hello. Did you just get here? Don't do it on my account. The Cradle of Summer will provide. They have a nest in one of the small crevices at the foot of the cliffs. You'll know it by all the corpses. Nice to see you. Are you one of the intruders? One of the children of the dust? What else can we possibly give you that you haven't already taken? The Cradle of Summer is not a flower for the plucking. Mortals. Children of the dust. Those who seek only to steal the treasures of the land from which we sprung to end the deep slumber. Mortals like you who seek to bend nature to their will, to make it bow before them as a servant, not embrace it as a guide and mother. 
Mortals. Thieves, liars, and weaklings. They have stolen items of great power. They have stolen the three staffs. A child of the dust wishes to help the cycle. Why, there is no precedent. If you truly wish to assist those of us in the deep slumber, you are welcome to. The three staffs were stolen from Sill Hollow and destroyed by the thieves who did not comprehend their power or their value. I heard their dying screams. The pieces must be recovered and the staffs must be reforged. If you can do this, you are more worthy of the cradle than I could imagine. But likely, you will not. It is for those answers that I seek the wisdom of the slumber. For it is in its reverie where I will learn the whereabouts of these thieves, Raff, Perter, and Hagni. Move swiftly. Hail. I am General Talera Ap Gwydion, former commander of the Eastern Alpha forces. Surely you're not the aid Aelin Shear promised. She spoke as if she planned to send a whole squad of soldiers, not one faceless mercenary. So, she is behind this. That woman. One too many times she's meddled in my affairs, making promises she never intends to keep. Well, perhaps it is for the best. The fewer people involved in my affairs, the better. You see, misfortune follows closely at my heels. It is the lot fate has cast for me. The years have been long since I first learned of the means that might deliver Melsen Shear from the Tuatha. It lies in Earl Tusk, beyond a gate fated never to be opened, in a hall awash with Niskaru. Any who seek access to the ruin must face them. For all my years of research, I've only ever found one clue to this puzzle. When the great voices rise in song. It may refer to the wind stones scattered across the plains. They bear a striking resemblance to the stones of this ruin. But that's simply me grasping at answers. Take this chime. It is said to have been taken from the ruin during its construction many centuries ago. I've tried using it on the wind stones with no luck. The inscription says the gate will open when the great voices rise in song. I think this means the windstones that are spread across Erethel. There's one just a little to the south. Go there and strike this chime near it. I'll stay here to see if it has any effect. The windstones are located all across They're the plains. Watching you. believe it. The gate shifted? For all my efforts, you simply appear and make it respond. No. You've opened one part of the gate, but four more remain. You must find the wind stones scattered throughout the plains and activate them. I will remain here. The Niskaru will sense that the seal is weakened. Someone must try to hold them back. Go sound the chime at each wind stone in Arathel. 
That's the only way to open the gates. I'll stay here and fight any Nascaro looking to sneak past us. Watch yourself.
salutate. Hmm. Another soul who traverses these forsaken crags. I presume that, unlike me, you are here by choice. Ah, allow me to introduce myself. I am Naim Kent, of the Rathir Kents, an Oathblade of the Honored and Venerable Warsworn Order. I have been tasked with eradicating the beasts that lurk within Talarain, all of them, by myself. A feat that may only take a few decades. I shall be honest with you, I am not one for field work, and my wealth is substantial. If you feel up to the task, I will pay you to kill these beasts for me. Excellent. Finish things quickly, and we shall be up to our elbows in tankards before winter feast. Among these ruins are several kobolds making a nuisance of themselves, and it is best to remove them. Rotclaw is a warrior. Blackshriek is among the deadly Nightblade, and King Fang, he is the closest thing the kobolds have to a leader. For the fortune I shall pay you, if not for the glory you shall earn. Fear not, you shall find them lurking somewhere around these ruins. Well, perhaps we shall speak later.